Hey guys, welcome back to Dude's Booze Reviews. We got a new location. Um, this is a picture of what my old location actually looked like. I think it's pretty amazing that I was able to make that look like a bar. Anyway, today we are taking a look at Grand Gala. This is Grand Gala. This is an orange liqueur that has been made with a blend of Italian and French brandies. Then they take Sicilian oranges and mix them in here to make this orange liqueur. Let's give it a try. So it is 40% and it does zing your nose a little bit, but definitely you get that orange flavor. You get some orange peel, a little bit of orange juice too, but without any pith. I get a little touch of raisin in there, which definitely is coming from the brandies. The raisin brings out a little bit of caramel and maybe a touch of chocolate. Wow, that is thick. Very thick. It does burn a little bit in the mouth and it burns a little bit on the way down too. Oh, what is that? Caramel butterscotch orange, tiny hint of tequila. Maybe that's like an associative flavor because you would put this in a margarita or something. I'm getting a little hint of tequila. Amazing what the mind can do. You definitely get that orange, chocolate, some caramel and butterscotch as well, which is kind of interesting, but definitely heavy on the orange flavor. Yeah, very rich and creamy. A good cocktail for this, honestly, I would put it in a Cadillac margarita. I would put it right on top. I think that those raisin flavors would add some depth. If you wanted, this would actually be really interesting in an Añejo margarita. If you wanted a margarita, but a little bit heavier body, an Añejo margarita would be really interesting. The orange would go really well with the margarita, keeping it light and citrusy, just like if you were to use a regular orange liqueur. The raisin and those deep kind of chocolate chocolate, caramel, butterscotch notes would go really well with an Añejo tequila in a margarita. So I think an Añejo margarita would be a great combo for this. A good price that you can get for Grand Gala, I would spend about 20 bucks and you're looking at a really good deal. It's not bad overall, for 20 bucks especially. A lot of the kind of higher end Grand Marniers are gonna spend quite a bit more. And so Grand Gala is kind of a great entry level for some orange liqueurs made with brandy. Anyway, hit that like button, share this video with your friends and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.